Okay, to today's breakfast, I have a 100 calorie English muffin. This is the Thomas Light Multigrain. One tablespoon of PB2, which is this. You just mix it with water. I'm gonna make some cold brew with my Fair Life protein shake and then a banana. For my snacks today, I have some carrot chips, one of these lemon fiber one bars, a lime yogurt, and some skinny pop popcorn. I also have some applesauce already at work. Hey guys, happy Monday. Thought I would catch you up on my weekend, let you know what my goals are for the week, show you some Amazon purchases, show you my lunch. So my lunch today, is, I'm trying to make sure there's not like a glare from the window. Um, I was just feeling a salad. I was going to make the tortilla wrap, um, chicken Caesar tortilla wrap, but I honestly just wanted something lighter. I kind of did, you know, I didn't actually didn't too, do too bad this weekend. I'll kind of let you know what, what I ate, but I just felt like a salad today. So I'll pop up here what I made. I did a chicken Caesar salad. So I have some grilled chicken, some avocado, romaine, a little bit of Italian cheese, um, I have some like the crispy romaine, romaine and then the baby romaine, um, some green onion, red onion, and that's it. Um, and the Caesar's dressing from Bolt House. So that is my lunch. So I'm eating that right now, um, which I need to hurry up through you guys so I can eat that before I have to go back to work. I want to show you some more nails that I got off of Amazon and kind of give you an update on the ones that I tried. Um, and then we'll go into my weekend. So these are the ones I showed you guys a couple weeks ago that I picked up. I have those ones on today. I have, um, I can't show you because they're already on me, um, but they're like kind of like a light pink and then it has like this little decor one. So these are the ones that you had to put the adhesive on your nail, on your like real nail, and then you had to remove the top part of it so it was sticky on both sides and then put the nail on top. The Impress nails, like these ones, the Kiss Impress ones, these ones, the, the tabs are already on there and you just stick them to your nail, you pull on the tab that sticks out at the end and it just comes right off. So, here's the situation. And I may try to put the tabs on the nails and do it that way like the Kiss ones are because there are little tabbies on the nail. But, okay, so my left hand, I, it, it worked really well. Like I got everything, all the tabs on there. I, you know, kind of was able to pull the top part off of the adhesive tab, put my nail right down, worked really good. But because I'm right-handed, this one, I had a little bit of trouble, but it was mainly the tabs I had trouble with. I could not get them to separate. And so this morning, so I put these on last night. This morning, I lost this nail twice. And I finally ended up, was this the one I put the glue on? Um, yes, I finally ended up putting just a dab of glue because it fell off twice. Then this one fell off. My middle one fell off. So um, I had to restick that one. And the, I think the nail, I think the reason why this one fell off was because the nail I was using, what I think was just a little bit too small. So I found a different size when I put it on there. Now these two, I remember these one, these three, I remember having a lot of trouble with the adhesive tabs and they kind of rolled up a little bit. And I thought, well, there'll still be enough on there. And I don't think I'm gonna close enough to the cuticle as well. So I'm gonna do these one more time with this brand before I give you a 100% like not sure about. And I think what I might do is I may try, like with one hand, I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try getting them closer to my cuticle and see if that helps. We'll see how these ones are. I feel like these ones I got closer to the cuticle because I was more, you know, I was able to do it because I was using my right hand. Um, so I may try it, try doing that, but I also think I'm gonna try putting them on the nail itself, putting the taps on the nail itself, the way the Kiss ones are, and then just, you just put it on your nail and then you just kind of pull off that tab and it just comes right off. And we'll see if that happens. I think the difference is, I think on the Kiss ones, the adhesive tabs are a lot higher quality. So when you pull that tab, it just separates right away and there's no issue. I had zero issue with these ones. These ones stayed on really well. So I can already tell, I can still tell you these Kiss ones really, really good. And on Amazon, they're cheaper than they are at Ulta. I bought them at Ulta. I did get this one off of Amazon. They are cheaper on Amazon than they are at Ulta. And you just have to really search to find 
some um, good designs. Now, there are ones on there that are special edition, limited edition designs like Christmas and, and like um, Halloween, things like that. They are a little bit more expensive. I don't know if they'll be more expensive during the holidays. They may be expensive right now because it's not that season. But I have a feeling I'm gonna go back to the Kiss ones and the Kiss ones only. I have a feeling. But just in case, I did pick up a cup, two other brands just to see. I liked the designs and just to try some different brands to see if, you know, maybe I find some other ones that are as, you know, good as the Kiss ones. These ones also, you have to, um, you have to put the tabs on, on yourself. They're not on the thing itself. I'm looking to see, like, of course they put like this big old tag on the back right over top of the instructions. So I can't even see um, on these ones, but look at these designs. These are super cute. And then I got, then the other two, so this one's from Glamour, Glamour something. I can't see it because they put, like I said, they put the tag even on the front right over the, so we'll see. And then I got Glamour Made and I got this design, which is super cute, really like this one. And then I got these ones, which I absolutely love. So, um, so yeah, so we'll try these. Well, I think I want to probably put these ones on next because they're still kind of summery. And so I think I'll put these ones on next and I'll let you guys know how those ones turn out. Okay, so my weekend, um, it went really well. Next year, we're going to try to do two days. Um, and by the time my husband will be at his job for a year and he'll have vacation time. Um, or at least some PTO maybe, or something, some kind of time where he can get it off. I don't know how that'll go with the dogs. The dogs are just, they really don't handle it very well when we leave, but we would like to do two days, but it went really good. It was fun. I did a lot of activity on Saturday. So we left Saturday morning at like five. We got there a little bit after eight and we went and had breakfast. I had pancakes because I've been like craving pancakes and I figure, you know what? I knew I wasn't going to worry about how many points and calories and stuff I was eating. I still track them, but I didn't, you know, didn't care. I only ate about half of them because I got so full. So we had that for breakfast and then we went over to the beach house and we did a lot of walking on the beach and I am so sore. Like I'm more sore today than I even was yesterday. I, my knees hurt so bad because it's like, you know, you have to go down these steep steps to get down to the beach. And we actually were literally like right across the street from the beach and then where, where the beach access was. And so we literally just had to walk like, I don't know, like 50 feet. And then we go, went down the stairs and onto the beach. So, but it was pretty steep, you know, incline like, to, so getting down was fine, like down the stairs and then onto the beach, but then climbing back up. So we actually, a couple of the times we were down there, we walked down, the casino was just like, I don't know, maybe eighth of a mile down the road from us. And so we walked down the beach to the casino access, the beach access there and went up there because it was a lot less of an incline to get up. It's just really hard for me to walk in that really dry, deep sand with my knees. But anyway, so we, did, we went down there in the morning when we first got there and walked around a little bit. We went down there again later on in the afternoon and then again in the early evening. And then we went again at night and we started like a bonfire and we were like around the fire for a while. It was like around 10.30 at night or so. Yeah, about 10.30 or so. Um, for lunch, I just had a sandwich and for dinner, I ha we had burgers and I had one without a bun. Um, and then I had a little bit of potato salad, not a lot, just a tiny bit. And that was what I had for dinner. But I did have other things like, you know, just kind of snacky things here and there. But I did pretty good. I mean, I just, I wasn't really worried about it, but I, it just really was more about like, you know, being together with family and all of that. And so I did, it was just, you know, it turned out really good. We played games and we did our Christmas presents and we did, you know, all of that stuff. So it was, it was a really good time. It was a really good time. I, we did leave early enough. My husband had to get his hair cut. Um, because he has to, he doesn't have a hat right now. Like they're out of hats at his work. And so he can't wear any of his caps. And he has like where, you know, like his hair's like sticking up really bad in the back where he has calyx and stuff. And he's like, so like weird about his hair. Like he is not like typical like man when it comes to that stuff. 
and he just really so we he hadn't had a haircut appointment and so we wanted to make sure we got back in time to be able to unpack it or let's unload everything and we just wanted to like beat any traffic because um at the university of oregon is it that one yeah at the university of oregon they're doing a like track and field like event where it's like 200 countries are coming to do it and we're like uh you know so we didn't want to have to like go through traffic and i'm glad we left as early as we did because we did hit quite a bit of traffic on our way back and i know it would have just been way way worse so we left there about nine and we did get home about 12. i could have did, did some meal prepping but honestly i was so exhausted like i was exhausted and mainly just from the drive and then just, you know, and just from walking around and just, I didn't get like a hundred percent, you know, sleep that I normally get and just exhaustion, you know, just a lot of activity in one day than we typically do. And so I just decided, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll just do it today. So today at lunchtime, when I first got here, I went ahead and I cooked up the pasta for my chicken pasta salad. So I'm going to let it cool. And then I'm going to make that tonight. When I get off work, I'm going to go ahead and make that pasta. I also got to mow the lawn when I get home tonight. I have a lot of things to do today. I want to, I don't want to, like, I didn't do any activity at all yesterday. So I want to make sure I do some activity today because I don't want to, like, go too many days just because I'm, like, I'm sore, you know, and I'm tired. I want to kind of push myself a little bit. So the plan is tonight when I get home from work, I'm going to get dinner prepped and ready to go. And then I'm gonna, while the oven's heating up, our oven takes forever to heat up. And just, you know, to let the meat come to room temperature, that kind of thing. We're gonna make the pork tenderloin. So I'm gonna, while I get all that, I'm gonna get all that ready. I'm gonna go out and mow the lawn, get the water set up on it, and then come in and get dinner in the oven and all that. And then make my chicken salad, uh, my chicken pasta salad. So I will show you guys all of that and what goes into that. And then, other than that, that's all I'm going to meal prep. I'm not going to, I'll probably cut up some cucumbers and I need to, um, I'll, I'll already be cutting up celery, so I'll just cut up some of that for snacking and whatnot. And that's that. So, yeah, it was a busy weekend, but like I said, I just, I don't, I really want to, um, that's the other thing, I, like I was saying, I really want to push myself this week, this, like for, for the rest of July, I really want to push myself. And like Saturday's activity was really kind of my, okay here we go we did this a lot of this activity we survived we can do it again so like i said so today i'm gonna mow the lawn i'll get some activity with that and then i may um just as kind of like a cool down um later on today i may go ahead and do my bike too tonight after i eat dinner um and then tomorrow the plan is to get my butt up early so i can go for a walk um and then, or if anything, I mean, but for sure, I'll do a walking video, something, but I want to get my button gear with the, um, with just really focusing on my goals. And so my activities, my goals for this week, and then also really watching my macros. That's my other goal. And I just really have been just kind of, kind of spot checking my calories and my protein. My protein has been terrible and I have no idea what my carbs and all that have been. So I really want to focus on that this week and just really try to hit my macros. My points are always really good and I'm getting my extra points that I earn. Like I might strive to get at least three extra points from, um, or four, four extra points is my goal every day that I wanna earn. And that's one from water, one from veggies, one from exercise, no, two from veggies, one from water and one from exercise. That's my goal every day to try to get those points, those four extra points every day is what I try to earn. I get 18 points, so those four gives me 22. I don't ever really use 22, but just so I have them, it just kinda of gives me that incentive and that motivation to earn those points. So that is my goal every day. So I will let you know at the end of each day what I've hit, if I've hit my macros, hit my um, my extra points I wanna earn and all of that. So we'll kind of do a summary of that at the end of each day. But now I better eat my lunch so I can um, at least have this eaten before I head to work. Okay, so we have our pork tenderloin getting ready to go in, potatoes going in. I'm gonna wait a little bit because my husband doesn't get off till eight. So I think I'm gonna put this in about seven and then I'll just eat a little bit later. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have myself a little treat seasoned these with this. I just did some cooking spray and some of this buttery steakhouse and I'm going to cook them at 350. This needs to cook 45 minutes. I'll put these in there too and just check on them. Hey guys, so I know you're supposed to have your dessert after dinner. However, it is 89 degrees outside and I just got done mowing the lawn. So I am hot and sweaty and I wanted to have my dessert now. So this is that. I'll pop it up here. It's that Briars Carb Smart or something like that. 
and it's dripping. Um, vanilla ice cream with one of the great value cones. So somebody made a comment, which they are exactly right. I put on there for half a cup as 110 calories. Mm -mm. But for some reason, when I scanned this, it scanned in at half of a cup in the WW app. So I just assumed that it was a half a cup as a serving. And that's not correct. It's not a half a cup as a serving. So I did only do a half of a cup because a two thirds of a cup is five points. Um, and so this half of a cup is only 90 calories. So when I did put it in my tracker, I did it correctly. And what I did was I weighed out a half of a cup and then um, just put it on my cone and it was perfect. So I've eaten a little bit of it. Um, they're kind of small cones, so not a whole lot goes in there. Now, how does it taste? I'm gonna be completely honest. It's not like, it doesn't taste exactly like the regular ice cream. I like vanilla ice cream, it's my favorite. Actually, vanilla bean is my favorite. Um, you can definitely tell it's lower sugar. I don't know about the carbs. I think it's lower carbs because it's lower sugar. Um, it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. So I think you could like juice it up a little bit, but it tastes good enough to me. It definitely does the trick. Okay, let's talk about my stats. And like I said, I'm getting ready to make dinner. One thing also, the pork tenderloin, I think in my milk, um, my grocery haul, I put on there with nine points because that's what it was scanning at. So again, I looked at it though, so when I went to go put it into my Lose It app, it said only 110 calories. So then I went and looked at the label and sure enough, it was scanning into the WW app at 240 calories and everything else was else was correct on there, just the calories. And it was even scanning in with that the right ounces, four ounces. So I hand created it. It's only two points, just like the other um, pork tenderloin. So yay. So I did earn five points today, extra points I earned. One for just regular veggies, the carrot chips. Earned one for water. I earned two at lunch with the veggies. And then one will be for dinner with my salad. Um, so totally earned my points. I also earned um, weekly points as well with, cause when I do my exercise, it goes into my weekly points. So I did earn, oh, it doesn't tell me on this app. Oh, here we go. Um, with all my, with it logging my Apple Watch and everything, I earned nine points total um, with all of that. No, the six points was from my walking over the weekend. And then I earned three points for mowing the lawn. So I've gained nine weeklies this week, which was nice because I was negative weeklies after this weekend and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I have eight weekly remaining and that's because I earned those extra weeklies. So I used 19 points today, but I actually had 24 to use because I had those five extra points. Um, so yeah, and that's even with already logging this. Now, as far as my calories and whatnot, I did use 1,330, oh, it's updating. It was 1,330 calories. And, um, yes, use my old plan. Apparently there's like a new, okay. So apparently my app here on my iPad was, it needs to update. So it was 1330 calories. And then I only had 104 protein. I did not eat that yogurt that I showed you guys earlier. Um, so I only had 104 protein, which I like to try to hit 125. My carbs were 110 net carbs. And then my fat was like 43 and I tried to hit 60 up, you know, the understand or 60 on my fat. So did really good. I just wanted to hit more on my protein. My, like I said, 125 is really my goal on my protein, but I feel really good with this, like really, you know, trying to, you know, really just watch everything. I feel like I'm in a really good place. So, um, yeah, I'm going to eat this, take a shower. I'll pop up dinner here. What it looks like when it's all done, because I think I'm just going to go ahead and close out right here. Um, but I'll pop up dinner. The pork tenderloin is gonna go in the oven with potatoes and then I'm gonna just do a side salad. So I'll pop it up here what it looks like and what all the calories and points and all that is for that. And then I'll pop up another slide um, with my final count for the day. I'll pop that up up here somewhere so you can see all that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, oh, I need to tell you one thing. 
I was talking to one of my managers about my nails because she also she's the one that told me about the press on nails and she told me that the little tabs that come with some of these kits are not very good so she buys a whole box of them off of Amazon and they're really really good quality and you get like 500 of them or something in a box so they last forever so she's gonna give me the link to those so I'll let you know if those are better um, so I know a lot of you've been interested in the nails as well so that's it okay I'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys